Welcome back guys to another awesome Unity tutorial. I'm your host BliskinX and today we're going to be looking at tile map collisions. Now there is a number of ways of enabling collisions but I do prefer making use of the tile map especially when the stages start becoming pretty large etc than having to use separate objects to achieve that. Now I'm going to be doing a number of things you can see that I have gone ahead and already set the sort of you could say entry stage or a little beginning stage just to show what it looks like. If I go ahead and play that I should be able to walk between these walls so you can see that none of them keep the characteristic of a solid behavior. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now I'm working off the last tutorial that we had uh, with regards to the player movement. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and look at it. You'll see that we've got the rigid body uh, component added to this. And then of course we wrote the script with regards to the player movement. So go ahead, check that out because you're going to need uh, this uh, component enabled to be able to achieve what we're going to do today. So back over onto our tile maps, you'll see I've got my base tile map, I've got my walls, which I've set separately, and I've gone ahead and set the tile map upper. Okay, so this is just the objects that are eventually also going to have solid behaviors or anything like that, but that's more for decoration purposes opposed to, you know, opening a chest. So over onto my tile map walls, I'm going to go ahead and create a, or basically add a new component. And that we're going to do is the tile map Collider 2D. Now you'll notice that it's gone ahead and it's sort of mapped out all the areas with regards to where I've placed the walls, which is critical. Now this isn't going to stop me from going through, this just allows the, the collider to be enabled, but I need to do one other thing. Because if I go ahead and play that now, you'll see that I can still walk straight through that. Now over onto our player, really simple, click on our player and we need to add one component and that little component is going to be the box collider 2 Go ahead and enable that. You can leave its density to one. And now we should be able to click on there and be able to prevent from us from walking straight through. Right, pretty cool. Now this gap here obviously is because my player is currently set to slightly bigger than 16. This is a gap of 16, so don't stress too much with regards to that. That is just purely something I need to fix with regards to the spacing issue. But that gives the idea of, of solid behavior, which is pretty rad when um, we're creating large stages because all it means now that with regards to this specific tile map, I can go ahead and create all my walls on you, knowing or even rivers or lakes, etc. If I don't want the player to be able to fall in and pits and so forth, I can basically just go and set this tile map with all its walls and different uh, elements. And I'll know such as the rock elements here in my tile map sprite that gives it that solid behavior. Right guys, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new here and a little thumbs up. We always appreciate the love and we'll catch you guys in the next one.